For the past week, some folks in the Southeast Valley have been under a state of emergency, all because of what they might be breathing in. Zabihula Nori tells us about what's causing this pollution. Thick black smoke bellowed into the valley, not for hours, but for days, as 200 firefighters tackled a tire fire in Maricopa. It was basically um, flames 100 feet high. You could see the smoke in, into the valley, into Scottsdale. We got calls from South Scottsdale. This big fire didn't have any death or injuries, but it definitely had an environmental impact to it. People living in and around Maricopa not only saw the effects of the fire at the Arizona Rubber Recycling Center, they felt it as well. Um, I can tell you that yesterday, from the amount of smoke and the amount of soot and stuff that was in the air, um, there, was, there was black sooty stuff on us. Officials tried to reassure residents they were safe. Smoke has been high up in the sky above 500 feet for the most part, uh, which means that our readings in the city are still really good. Inspectors cited the company just one week earlier because the piles of the tires weren't spaced far enough apart. As Grant says, this was the third fire in recent years. There was one in 2003, one in 2005, and then this one. Firefighters estimated it would take seven days for the flames and the smoke to disappear for good. Meanwhile, investigators tried to figure out if the pollution or health concerns linger even longer. In Maricopa, Zabiholanuri, Nuri, Cronkite News Watch. The Department of Environmental Quality will test the air once the fire is out.